All right, let's see if we can get an OpenGL window in front of us. So I'm going to right click on Graphics Pad, Add, Class, uh, yeah, whatever. Click Add, Class Name, My GL, oh, casing, come on. My GL Window. In fact, you know what? This is a Jamie King playlist. Let's do Me GL Window, because I like me instead of my. Uh, hit Enter. Uh, control L pound if and def uh, me GL window. I probably could have got away with the pragma once, but I'm kind of old school. Pound define control N pound N diff. If you want to learn about header guards, you don't know, understand header guards. I have videos up on that. Let me get rid of the def or the declaration there for the constructor. The same thing here. I'll get rid of all of that. Now inside this header file, we need to inherit from uh, QGL widget. So I'm going to pound include QT OpenGL QGL widget. I don't get IntelliSense support for that because I don't believe there's a .h at the end of this file. Publicly inherit from QGL widget right there. And I think that's it. I'm going to go back to main and pound include uh, me GL window. Of course, it doesn't show up here because the project directory is not set up in my additional include path. So we got the QT middleware include. I'm actually at the beginning here. I'm just going to say, hey, by the way, everything inside of my project directory I want you to look for as well. When we use pound include with angle brackets, the angle brackets searches all these directories. Whereas if we use uh, double quotation marks, it just searches the current directory that the file is in. Well, just for consistency, I like I'm, I'm going to keep it all angle brackets. And now I can say me gl window dot h, and then me gl window me window and me window dot show. Control F5. Here's hoping something shows up. Control 5 builds and also executes and runs. There we go. There is our OpenGL window. I told you we were going to do just a sliver of QT. That's not the end of our QT, but that's probably the bulk of our QT. I just need an OpenGL window to show up, and, and there we go. So, not very exciting by itself. Let's see if we can do something a little more interesting with that window. I'm going to come to the header file. And in the protected section, there's a bunch of functions we can override. One is paint GL. Okay, this is the function that QT calls whenever it expects us to render and do some painting commands for our GL window. So let's grab this and actually implement it over in the me GL window.cpp file. Control V, me GL, GL window, colon, colon. And I'm going to say, hey, GL, uh, clear color. Right, the way I get those functions available to me is by using glue. If you remember in the previous video, we used, if I can bring it up here. Remember in the previous video, we made this directory here, C graphics, and we did this middleware thing, and we got glue here, which is the OpenGL extension Wrangler library essentially brings in all the OpenGL functions for us it's small but very critical we need to we need to initialize it well where's the best place to get glue to do its job well that would probably be in a, another protected function void initialize gl let's override override this function from the qgl widget highlight that copy that go back to the compilation unit and Let's actually bring this in. I love C++. Working in two files all the time. Hopefully you're noting some sarcasm there. All right. Initialize GL window. Look at me. I got double quotes here when I said I wanted to do angle brackets. Another pound include we need to do is GL slash glue. Get the extension Wrangler library in here. But, of course, it's not in our additional include directories. So let me right click on the pro project again and click properties. Uh, we have here middleware glue include. 
Okay, again, we got the QT from this middleware directory I created in the last video. And now we need to get glue. So it's exactly the same thing as we did for QT, except it's glue. All right, here's our project directory. I want to go up one, into middleware, into glue, into include. And this is where the includes are for glue. So what I'm actually going to do is cheat and copy all of this that we did in the previous video. Hit the end key, semicolon, control V, and change this to glue, glue, hit enter, hit enter, and that should bring in glue.h. Very cool. All right, let's just build, build started, build failed. Look at all these IntelliSense errors. Let's turn those off. GL.h included before glue. So here's something about glue. Glue likes to be the first and very first thing that's included. It's important. Why? I'm not exactly sure. I'm sure it has to, something to do with configuration. And, and GL.h is included via me GL window. If we go to me GL window.h, this file includes qt opengl slash qgl widget, which I'm sure includes qgl h or what, what file was it complaining about? I can't, I can't remember. gl.h, that's right. So in order to make the compiler happy, glue has to be the exact first thing ever included inside of the compilation unit. So control shift b, hopefully that gets rid of that error. Build succeeded, we're good. Uh, inside of initialize GL, I now need to say glue init, which essentially sets up our function pointers for all the open GL functions we're going to call. I'll leave it at that. It's it's pretty involved, even though it's a really simple thing. And believe me, we do not want to do that by hand. Glue init returns an error code. If this was my game engine programming playlist, I would be checking that error code and making sure that. We initialized just fine, but this is a graphics pad. It's a scratch pad. I'm not too worried about it. Let's Control Shift B here. Build started. Uh, linker errors. I say I don't. Wanna... Okay, you told me to call glue in it, but I can't link to it. So just like we did with Qt, I have to go back to the linker error area here. Click General and Additional Library Directories. We need Qt lib. We also need glues libs so let me copy that semicolon and say glue here and hit enter apply okay whatever that should uh, not link us because I didn't tell it what file to link to okay if we look at glue and look at the lib folder there's a whole bunch of stuff in here but the actually the only one I need I'm gonna delete the rest of these actually this is the release version but I'm doing everything debug. I'm going to delete all of those and just link to glue32d.lib. All right, let me right-click here. Properties. Hey, linker, when you're looking for input files, along with these QT ones, look for, what's it called? Glue32d.lib. Glue32d.lib. Semicolon. Hit enter. Hit enter. Build. It should link, but when I run it, I get the DLL error message, so same dirty trick as we did last time. Let's go to glue, bin, glue32d.dll, control C that to copy that. Go back to my project directories output, paste it right there next to the QT ones. And now we should run, glue and it works fine. It's happy, all right? We got this black window. Now let's see if we can change the color of this black window. Uh, GL clear color. Look at that, I get GL clear color. Uh, now these are values between 0 and 1, 1 being all, all the way turned on, 0 meaning turned off completely. 1 for red, all red, no blue, no green, full uh, opaqueness, all right, don't let me see through it. But again, we're going to learn later, I mentioned that, that uh, handling opaqueness is interesting. So I set up the GL clear color, and then I actually have to tell OpenGL, hey, clear right, GL color buffer bit. Okay, this is how we say, hey, OpenGL, clear your color buffer. I know I'm kind of flying over all this, but I'm just trying to get the project up and running. And I'll explain all these in much greater detail in upcoming videos very soon from now. But let's see if we get all red, build that. 
failed. Why did it fail? Linker errors. It's saying, hey, um, you're calling GL clear. I just, I just, I just, I just. All right, the GL extension Wrangler library sets a lot of this up for us, but we still have to link to OpenGL. I believe it's OpenGL. OpenGL32.lib, semicolon, hit enter. Hit enter. Build succeeded. That lib file is actually in a, a location that my environment variables can find, and also the DLL is as well. So there we go. We have a nice red window. Okay, hello world. Open GL. Now we can get into some meat, start drawing some triangles, and very soon draw some 3D uh, scenes. Very cool.